Welcome back to Trail Journey with Jeeves, guys. And this is the moment everybody's been waiting for, including myself. This is the motorcycle unit that we bought for 25 bucks. If the audio sucks, we're under the freeway bridge right now. So, don't expect the audio to be as good as normal. We're gonna try our best here. But this is the unit right here. There's a motorcycle and who knows what else. Only $25. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. Uh -huh. Guys, no joke, there are over 1,500 storage units in this facility. We get here one time, there's somebody cleaning it out here and here. So we're like, okay, we go to the other unit. We come back, somebody's leaning, leaving, cleaning out the unit there. So we're like, okay, let's record, finally. We record the intro, somebody else comes to clean out the unit right here. And I'm like, I don't think this facility sells units anywhere other than this 10 by 10 area, but it's really irking my nerves right now. Okay, I think we finally got a good five minutes before our truck comes to clean out that one. So let's see what we got. Founding Fathers. Uh, what's it? Ooh, look at the bike picture. Is that that bike? Do you think? I uh, can't tell. Me neither. Set that aside for now. What do you think's in here? More pictures? Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Is that like the manual? No, what is that? Visual That's the audio. Nice. Yeah. Medical documents. New Yorker. Dog paper bag puppet. You see that, right? Yes. Okay. Dog paper bag puppet. These all drawings. What if they're like original Harley designs or something? Uh, nothing. Just personal paperwork. All this stuff is so dusty. It looks like it hasn't been touched in ages. Just like this umbrella. Taken out. All right. What do you think's in the cooler? Coolers are always scary. <sighs> what do you think? Kidney? Eyeball? Body. Oh. Uh. Clothes. Oh god, look at the dust come out of it. Yeah, they must be cool. Yeah, these are must be cool people clothes. Oh. And a wallet. Hello, beautiful. What do you think's in it? Boom. Aw. 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 Oh, nothing. And we got what is that? Ugh. I don't know what that is. A couple CDs in here. Daryl Hall and John Oates. <laughs> Joy. Nothing of interest here. Let's keep pulling stuff out, guys. What do you think this is? Mmm. You want a drink? I do not. You want a drink of that? I do not. Yeah. Oh, oh come on. It's like crystal light. Here. No, stop. Don't play. Don't pour it out oh. either, it stinks. What do I do with it? Is it a stink? Yeah. It's not. I, I, I smell, he was about to just throw it. I don't want to know what that is. That works. We're just going to leave it there. I think it's 100% pee. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Like that color? Yes, it's, uh -huh. it's, it's fermented pee. I don't drink much water, so mine usually looks like that. <laughs> I think he's got some diseases, I don't know. Let's see what's in his bag. Mm -mm -mm. Oh boy, it's just straight trash. I don't like it. I love bags of straight trash. And the weird food containers with like a couple of nuts. Are these locker nuts? They were found in the locker, weren't they? Found some locker nuts. I didn't, I didn't even see them there. An old busted Dell monitor. Yay. That's great. Is this a battery to a motorcycle? It looks like a car battery, but smaller, doesn't it? Yeah. What do you I think? think? Guess what it, is. it looks like a battery or a motorcycle battery. I have never driven a motorcycle. Own known anyone to own a motorcycle? I know nothing about motorcycles, but that's my guess. What would you say? Motorcycle. Me too. We got a weird USPS box. Let's see what we got. Ow! Just a bunch of freaking clothes. No one wants your dirty clothes. Nobody wants them. So we got some dirty cleaner and whatever that is. But let's get the 99 cent only bag. Oh, ooh, you see that? Look what I see. Is that a laptop? 
looks like it to me. That is a huge laptop. I've never seen a laptop this big in my life. It's either really old or really expensive. Windows XP, so I'm gonna go on the very old side. Mm, look at that. Nothing too special. You think it'll cut on? I doubt it, well, we'll try. No, but it's probably dead. Maybe the charger will be in there somewhere. That's at least one interesting find so far. Let's see if we can pull something else out of here. This is a Honda bike. This is just a towel, that thing, that. What is this? A circuit tester set? It's missing one of them now. Think it has some value? No idea. Me neither. And some socks. This is just what I wanted to do with my Saturday. So we cleared out all the clothes up here, all a bunch of cheap junk, nothing expensive. So now let's pull this toad hour here, I guess. All right, let's see what kind of trash we got in here. So we got, we get a seat right here in the van. This is nice. So we got a hard drive right here, it looks like. What size? It doesn't say not, it says not originally mine. You see that? That's suspicious. A couple old DVDs, junk. What is this? Huh. That looks interesting. It's like a book newspaper. It doesn't have a title though. Is it on the spine? Oh look. You see that? Not too sure on that. Set that aside. Quad core, Windows, tablet. It's not going to be in there. No way. Nope. Oh. Oh. What is this used for guys? I don't know. Joy. Hey, there's an SD card. 16 gig SD card. No, no way. The SD card's gone. Only thing in there's the adapter, so that's junk. More clothes. Junk. What is that? You ever seen that before? Nope. Me neither. So, just throw it in here. What is this? Q tips. I would not touch these guys' Q tips if they were made of gold. But we also have. Just like one of those battery readers, test your battery, it looks like. Maybe that has some value. Oh, there it is. All right, let's see what we got here. Laptop number one. If I can get it open, it's like stuck. Okay. Is it IBM Windows XP as well? So that's four laptops out of this unit. We got that one, set that aside. Then we got a compact here which is, doesn't even tell me the operating system on this one, so no idea. And then we also got this one. Let's see what's in here. If I can get it open, there it is. Also does not tell me the operating system. Is it on the bottom? No, usually just hard drive stuff. Nope. So four laptops out of the storage unit, that's pretty good. What are we, <laughs> what is this for? What do we have here? Weighing vegetables. I'm sure this is weighing vegetables, which is why it's in the same container as that thing we found a few minutes ago. Definitely for vegetables. Portion Windows, Windows 98. Wow. All right, what else do we have? More DVDs. Here's a couple computer hard drives. That's kind of strange. All right, sheet set. There's a laptop case, it looks like, isn't it? But well, here's chargers. Looks like we had a bunch of laptop chargers here. If I can get through all the junk. There's one charger, two chargers, three chargers, and a bunch of laptop cases. There are no one laptop case, sorry. Is this another one? Guys, why does one person need so many laptops? How do you even open this one? Uh, oh, on the side. There it is. Fifth laptop. Look at that Windows sign. <laughs> Windows and B. Man. That's an old one. Empty case. Jeans. We don't want your jeans. Are they? Um, we got that, whatever that is. Uh, let's see. Starbucks gift card. Clothes. What is that? Tool essentials, brush wires. Um, what is this thing? Is it a 
printer? It looks like a little printer, doesn't it? That might be a, a mini printer. And this old school DVD player. Hmm. Not looking well for this guy. Oh, is that what I think it is? That is exactly what we think it is. Look at that. Oh, that's busted to crap. But if it works, that's nice. It's a Windows tablet and it's got the keyboard with it. Now, if it'll work, I am not sure. But if it does, that's pretty sweet. This unit was only 25 bucks, remember that. So, um, empty phone case. There's more chargers down here, but nothing else too interesting. But that could very well be worth a lot more than we paid for this unit. So we just pulled out two laptop cases now. What could one person need with so many laptops? Let's see. Paperwork, 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 no interest. Doesn't look like there's an actual laptop in here. Ooh. Oh, just checks. Where's the cash? We need the cash. Um, nothing else in there. Let's see if we got anything in the front. Uh, ooh, look what I see. We got an old phone, it's just an LG, not an Apple or Samsung or nothing, but that could tell the story of this guy very easily. Um, let's see. Anything else in this pocket? Just actual like office laptop stuff. So this one's boring, minus the phone. Let's see what we got in this one. Papers, 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 nothing else. Um, how do we get into the main pocket? Right there. Looks like a credit card. No, it's a value customer card. It might actually be, like you don't need to have the name to use that. And here's some of the SD cards so we can figure out what this guy was up to. Trash. Looks like all receipts. Oh. Another, what is that? Is that a beeper? What is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, there's something else in there. A battery to something. Something shady was going on here. I haven't figured out what yet. And this is all paperwork as well. So, a few more interesting electronics and a card that might have some money on it. So I think we're doing pretty good so far. So I just went back there behind the motorcycle and pulled out this big suitcase. Let's throw it up here. Here we got. Dang, I almost hit my head again. Tall people problems. What is that? What is this thing? Look. Is that a tablet again? Look at that. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? Strange. This guy has a lot of electronics. I don't see any legal need for this many laptops, phones, and tablets. Just saying. What do you think's in here? Oh yes! Is it? Please work. I want the laser pointer to work so bad. Yes, it works. Guess what? Cat's got a new toy. What was it yesterday? We were about to buy this and forgot to get it at checkout. All right, nothing else there. What do we got? Power strip. Uh, nothing else. What's the watch? A G-Shock watch, that's not bad. Working hands. Always gotta feel those socks. You never know which one has money hidden in them. I don't see anything there. It feels like there's something in here. I gotta figure out how to get to it. Is there a second zipper? Oh, I think I found one. Maybe. Yep. Oh, just close. Ah, open. So it looks like this is where all the clothes are kept. Nothing too exciting there. So throw the suitcase in here, let's find some more. So we do have a helmet that has seen a lot better days, but it does look kind of cool. It looks like Evil Knievel almost. Captain America on the back of it. There's some bags over here. Let's get that out and see what else we can find. So we just pulled out a couple saddlebag things here. Looks like a little propane tank. And more pill bottles. This guy is up to no good. I don't think. Wrench, one of those old coin smash things you get as souvenirs. Um, 
Only other thing it's in there is a wrench. Chalk. Is that another phone? Oh no, it's a mirror. Looks like a motorcycle mirror. That could have some value to it. And what's in here? Wrench set. Yeah, it looks like wrenches. So nothing too interesting in the saddlebags. There's still more value in that motorcycle though. Let's go pull out something epic. So we just picked up some cool looking stuff out here. Hopefully you guys can tell me if it has some value. Wait till we get out. Look what we see. Definitely motorcycle parts. This one is empty though. This one looks brand new. I might That might actually be the other mirror we just pulled out. So that might be two brand new motorcycle mirrors along with some lights. I've always heard motorcycle parts are super expensive. Never actually found any yet. So let's hope that's true. So this weird little drawstring bag was actually hanging right here on the handlebar. Let's take it out and see what's in it. Along with this shirt and some socks. Ugh. What do you think's in here? Um, bugs. Bugs? Good, yeah, good guess, good guess. Um, looks like more clothes. Yeah, mm -hmm. just socks and shirts. No fun. I thought there was going to be something interesting in this one finally. Well, nothing in there. I think there's another book bag and a few more things left. Let's keep getting it out. Just pulled this box out. Feels heavy. So what do you think is in there? $10 million, right? Yeah. Oh, well, it's paper. It's similar, I guess. That is all files. That, they're not even used. So That's, interesting. Get this out of here. I don't even want to look at the files. That's so boring. Guys, we're almost done. Let's pull out the last couple things. So last real thing other than bottles in the motorcycle in the unit is this bag here. It looks like it has been beat to death. Look at the side of it. Um, nothing in there. Let's see. The zippers are all broken. It won't unzip. Look at this. Huh. That makes it a little bit more interesting. We have to cut it open. I think we gotta find a knife. We'll be right back. Guess what? We got it open. You know what's in there? Dirty clothes and toilet paper. Just what we always wanted. <sighs> so we just got this bad boy out. Take a look at this. Uh, solid in me? That? It's a Honda. What does that say? Mad? I can't see it from this angle. Honda 750. It's a Honda Mad. 750. 750. Look how many miles are on that sucker. Three. 138,000 miles on it. It's obviously seen a much better day. You know the crazy part is? You guys think we should start it? I think we should try to start it. <laughs> I don't even know how to start a motorcycle. How do you start it? You do this thing? I don't know, and I don't want to really pull it up. So I'm just going to leave it alone. Fine, hopefully those sound effects work for you guys. <laughs> Can't really get it on. But. That's a pretty bad motorcycle. It's not in that great a condition, obviously, as you can see, but it's there, it's there. Not bad for $25. Not bad at all. All right, so let's do a recap on this pretty epic storage unit. So you guys know usually I like to pop the price up, but I have no idea what nothing's worth this time. So basically I am just clueless. I'm pretty sure what we got is worth about 25 bucks. I know that much, but I just don't know how much exactly. So first things first, but we got the two motorcycle mirrors. I think this one's a mirror and this one's a mirror right here. Hey, look who's in the back there. Can you yeah. see yourself? Nope. <laughs> uh, but we have two motorcycle mirrors right here. I don't know how much they're worth. It says it's a IEMIGO brand VL614068 or 86, my bad. Like I said before, I've never owned a motorcycle. I've never known anyone that ever owned a motorcycle. So motorcycles are completely foreign to me, like 100%. We also have these two oops, lights, which I can only assume go to a motorcycle as well. Right there. Here we go. They're not new though. They are used, but they're just dirty. They just got dirt on them. Once I wipe the dirt off, these will be pretty shiny. So. Again, motorcycle people out there, we need your help this time around because we're not sure at all. So we have those. And then we also kept this just because I don't know what it's worth and I can't find the exact model online for some reason. So this is a Kodak Easy Share Printer Doc Series 3. What it looks like is you, you plug your phone up to it. That's my assumption. Like you put your phone in right here and then you can print pictures directly from your phone. That's my only guess. Otherwise, I have no idea why anyone would pick this over a regular printer. Maybe it's mobile. 
know it needs to plug up still, so I'm not sure. I'm guessing just for your phone. That's my only guess. These, I don't, they're not really valuable. They're hard drives and they're older hard drives. They're not really big, but I just keep them because I like to see them. I'm, I'm weird like that. And we got a plethora of laptops. So again, laptop number one is this one, the Chembook. And these laptops are all pretty old and outdated, so they're not really worth any big value. But if you lock them up, just like phones, people will buy them for parts. So last time we saw, I think it was like five to six of these older laptops, we got 120 bucks for them. So they're not worth much, but they'll pay for the unit plus some, so that's all good. And then we got this big mama here. I've never seen a laptop this big in my life. It's heavy and huge, big laptop there. And before we go to the other laptops, we also got the tablets here. Look at the back of this tablet. I didn't even notice that before. What is all this information? Kind of weird, isn't it? But this one's a RCA tablet, it says on the case at least. I never actually popped it out to see yet. It's definitely not Apple, so it's not worth too, too much. But there's that. But it does come with the keyboard, which is always good. So I am should pop it out, shouldn't we? I don't know. It's a tablet. It's a cheap one. You can tell by looking at it. Anyone who knows electronics, I don't know many things we find in storage units, but I'm pretty sufficient with computers and things like that. That's a cheap tablet. So we also have this one here. This is an Intel tablet. It's the one uh, Windows tablet that was really cracked, as you can see on there. Again, that doesn't mean it's worthless. People will also buy these. If it's not worth any money on its own, we'll put it in the lot. We just have a bucket where we save smartphones, laptops, tablets, and things like that that are either not worth selling singly or completely broken because again people will buy them for parts if you lock them up we sold a bunch of smartphones before on ebay for over a hundred dollars i think it was like 13 of them none of them were brand name no apple no samsung just cheap little phones but people need those parts let's get this one or open this one i guess another laptop like I said, we'll probably lock that one, these up. That one has a, a definite internal crack. I can see it from over here. They probably are all messed up in some shape, way, or form. But like I said, we lock these all up. We'll probably get 100 bucks for them or so. And the unit was only $25. So that's not bad. Then we got this one here. Another laptop. So a total, I think we got five, right? And lastly, yeah. five laptops. And I think the newest OS on any of them was like Windows XP. Some of them are Windows 98. They had Windows V stickers on that. They're just old. And here's another laptop here. So five laptops, two tablets. We also have the smartphone, which I don't really, we haven't gone through this stuff in detail yet. It's just all thrown in there right now because we have both units. The other one you'll see tomorrow is also in the van. But all this stuff came out of the $25 unit. And obviously, obviously, there's a big motorcycle in the storage unit. But as you've seen from our past videos, the best one I could think of is the one we did with locker nuts with the boats. The laws when it comes to vehicles and storage units can get very, very complex. A lot of people think it's just as basic as it's in the unit, you buy it, it's yours. It should be. It really should be. That's how it should be. But unfortunately with these big storage unit companies, that's not how it works. If you're buying out like a Joe's storage down the street, it's one, that's probably how it works for them. But these big ones like Extra Space, Public Storage, places like that, they have a whole process that they have to go through through corporate. Has nothing to do with the people. Like, I don't see, last time we did this, people are yelling in our comments, that manager's crap, that manager stuck. That, the managers and people at work, they have nothing to do with it. Nothing at all. The corporate has things put in process or put in whatever. They can't do it. Let's put it like that. They can't just give it to you. So we really got to wait on that. Hopefully we get some good news back on the motorcycle. I mean, as you saw, it's not in the greatest of condition, but it's still a motorcycle for $25. So hopefully we get some good news back. The boats, we didn't get that good news back. Let's hope the motorcycle are different this time. But anyway, that's going to be it for this one. So if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunt videos all the time. If you do want to follow us on our social media links, they're going to be on screen. Click the links down in the description below. We'll make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.